everybody's doing well and having a great day. You guys are in for a treat in this video here. Yolanda captured something quite extraordinary here in the nighttime sky back on September 5th. We're going to come back and take a look at. I have analyzed thousands of videos over the years, and I've never seen anything quite like what you're about to see. But I want to revisit yesterday's video. We talked about the arrival of a CME, actually two CMEs that were headed directly towards the Earth. One very large CME, and then a secondary CME right there behind the large CME, which I think is interacting with the Earth's magnetic shields right now as I do this video. Either way, we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm, sparking auroras in the in the upper latitudes of the Earth. You can see an outstanding photo here sent into spaceweather.com from Sweden. Beautiful sky, but here's the, the planetary K index, and you can see the, the orange and yellow vertical bars represent geomagnetic storm activity, and the activity is starting to climb again as I think the, the second CME is starting to interact with the Earth. But we'll have to wait and see. But either way, the last 24 hours have been very active. And as the CME arrived here at planet Earth, there was something unusual detected in the magnetosphere. Check this out. This was sent in by my friend Nelson Jenks from North Carolina. This is over at Geospace. It's showing the, the magnetosphere from the, the X vantage point and the Y vantage point. Watch what happens to the, the magnetosphere as the CME is interacting with Earth's magnetic field. Check it out, you're going to see some highly unusual behavior. I've monitored the magnetosphere with this particular instrument for many, many years myself, and I have never seen the magnetosphere turn into what looks like a compass needle. Get a load of that, would you? Normally, the leading edge of the magnetosphere that's facing the sun, which would be over here on the left, is reacting to the arrival of the CME, the plasma cloud, not turning into what looks like a compass needle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This was, once again, as the, the large CME was interacting with the Earth during the geomagnetic storm. And coming up right here is a close-up view of that bizarre behavior as, once again, the large CME was interacting with the magnetosphere. And there was also some unusual behavior detected in the ionosphere. Check this out. And just a quick explanation of what we're looking at here. The center of this graph represents the Earth. Obviously, the left is the daytime side of the Earth. The right is the nighttime side of the Earth. This is the side that's facing the sun. Watch what happens. You're going to see it bulge towards the sun instead of away from the sun. Does it twice in the course of 24 hours. There it does it again. And keep in mind, there's a CME putting pressure on the magnetic shields during this weird event where the ionosphere right there bulges out towards the sun instead of away from the sun. So two anomalies detected in the shields protecting planet Earth as the large CME was interacting with the Earth the last few hours. And it looks like the, the smaller one is approaching right now as I do this video. And looking at the GOES X-ray flux, you can see there's been no major solar flares in the last 20 four hours looking at the earth facing side of the sun still loaded with with small sunspots there's a large active region down here in the the southeastern quadrant of the sun that's turning towards the earth right now as i do this video looking at the power outage situation real quick still a hundred thousand customers in louisiana without power following the landfall of hurricane francine will probably still be a few days yet getting all of the power restored following the landfall of that Category 2 hurricane. And looking at the power outage situation over here at PowerOutage.us, 86,561 customers still without power in Louisiana following the landfall of Category 2 Hurricane Francine. And now to the friendly skies of planet Earth. Here we go. This is an amazing video taken by Yolanda Gaglio on the night of September 5th of 2024. This video has narration by Yolanda as she was very taken back by what she saw in the nighttime sky. Here we go. Oh, it's right over the roof of the house first. There it goes. There it comes. There it is. Ooh. Oh, I see something go up by it. Oh my God, I just saw something fly up. Something's flying around it. Oh my God, there's something flying oh, around it. it. <gasps> you guys, I'll have to show you this. Okay, did you see what entered the field of view from the left-hand side? I'm assuming this was a recent rocket launch as we have two or three a week nowadays, but something very quickly enters the field of view right there over here on the left-hand side. 
and she saw it. And here we go. We're going to go in for a closer look at whatever this object may or may not have been. Entering from the left-hand side, she notices it, and she thinks it's up near the rocket. And it very well could be. She says there's something flying around it. And she's talking about that something being this thing right here that's glowing in the nighttime sky. And keep in mind, I, I thought this may have been a bird too, but birds don't typically glow. This is glowing, and at one point, it's a very bright point of light in the nighttime sky right there. Notice how bright that is. That's not a bird. And then it just zips back towards the object, and it's focusing its attention on the object in the nighttime sky. I don't think a bird would have been that intrigued by a rocket. It more than likely would have flown right on by, wouldn't even paid any attention to the rocket. This thing here, you can tell, was very intrigued by the rocket. It was focused on the rocket, and once again, it's glowing. Birds don't glow in the nighttime sky, unless this was some sort of a nuclear bird that we're not aware of, but it appears to be watching that rocket very, very closely. Goes behind it, then gets back in front of it, then goes above it. The rocket disappears appears and then so did the the mysterious object that was spotted by Yolanda from the night of September 5th of 2024. Great video by Yolanda Gaglio. I'm waiting to hear back from Yolanda on the exact location where she experienced that. Got something else I want to share with you guys that people have been noticing here recently. These are balloons. These are identifiable objects in the the daytime sky and I wanted to share these with you guys just in case you happen to see one. Maybe these things are in the sky. They've been up in the sky sky all summer long and they've been primarily hanging out west of the Mississippi River. One was spotted out here above Arizona by a young lady who sent me photos of this right here above Sholo, Arizona. The first video was sent in by Kimber and Craig from September 4th of, of 2024. But I've been following these things all summer long on Flight Radar 24. It also shows balloons and planes and helicopters. And these balloons have been in the sky monitoring something all summer long. Again, Again, primarily west of the, the Mississippi River. And here's the ones from Sholo, Arizona, sent in by Jody McBroom. You can clearly see that's a, a large white balloon in the daytime sky. But one thing that I did notice that seemed to be absent was a, a payload hanging off the bottom of it. I'm sure it's probably there, as these things typically fly at, at 50, even sometimes 60,000 feet. You're looking at a screen grab from Flight Radar 24. These are the balloons that I was talking about, visible on Flight Radar 24. These are the ones that were above Arizona for a few days. One of these drifted above Sholo and was photographed by Jody, who shared those photos with me right there. That's the one that was above Sholo, Arizona. So if you happen to see one of those in the daytime sky, no more than likely, if it looks anything at all like that, it's probably a high-altitude balloon doing something in the daytime sky. And we'll wrap this video up going to Fairbanks, Alaska. A video by John C. September 6th, a highly photogenic very intense double-decker rainbow visible from Fairbanks, Alaska. Thanks for the cool photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.